We didn't know it either. When did you find out? About 10 minutes before they was delivered? <laughs> Seriously. together here in the sight of God and in the presence of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Marriage is an honorable state, instituted of God, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ and declared by St. Paul to be honorable among all men and women. It is not therefore to be entered into an advisedly or lightly, but reverently, soberly, advisedly, and in the fear of God. Let us therefore, under the seriousness of this act, read our scripture at this time. 1 Corinthians 13, and now I will show you the most excellent way. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. There are three pillars on which a marriage may be built. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. I now charge you both, as you stand in the presence of God, to remember that the love and the faithful observance of your marriage vows are required as the foundation of a successful marriage and the establishment of a happy and enduring home. Without these, there can be no real marriage, and the home which you endeavor to establish will be a vain and fruitless effort. <clears throat> Sean, do you take this woman to be your wedded wife, and do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and that forsaking all others for her alone, you will perform unto her all the duties that a husband owes to his wife until God by death shall separate you? I do. Misty. Misty, do you take this man to be your wedded husband. And do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for him alone. You will perform unto him all the duties that a wife owes a husband until God by death shall separate you. These rings are a symbol of an unbroken love as they are circular in form. These rings are to represent your commitment one to the other, to show your vow and your undying faithfulness to your companion. As you exchange these rings, you're exchanging your life to become as one. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, to have, to have and to hold, and to hold you missed it, you missed it, for the rest of my life. this time. God, we thank you for Rashawn and Misty, God, and it's you that you have brought together. God, we thank you for these two families that you're bringing together. That God bless this you and you God bless their household, that it may be an enduring household, God, full with love and happiness. God, we thank you now for this union and this occasion. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
by the power invested in me in the state of Tennessee, I now pronounce you man and woman. You may now kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I now introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Rashawn Hansford. Now, 